hey what's up everyone so in this video we are going to have a crash course on uh, flutter flow which will cover the basics of how to use flutter flow for building your flutter apps ui basically and uh, it also comes up with the apis and uh, custom functions and a lot more so they have multiple packages like you can pick their free package or paid packages if you see here they have free plan standard and pro plan currently i'm running a pro plan here if you see and uh, in this i have created three app basically and uh, i'm pretty satisfied with the 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 service they have provided service in the sense in terms of the the visual designer so let's go and uh, explore our new app in flutter flow yeah for that you need to sign up and uh, once you have signed up you can log into your free account or maybe you can also purchase a pro plan with them and uh, they they offer a trial version as well 14 day trial right so here i'm uh, proceeding with the crash course app right and uh, let's go with the uh, blank template or we we get a lot of templates like uh, right it says 25 screens for a jobs app or a wedding app and a social app right we get samples like uh, ready-made to use with the multiple screen and uh, everything yeah so we'll go with the a new one uh, let's say blank one and uh, okay so this is a basically the visual designer and uh, it has options like downloading apk and uh, downloading the code uh, there are some limitations of free account but uh, i'm using the pro plan so i have everything unlocked here so you can check which options you have in the free plan yeah uh, maybe there is uh, no option to I think uh, down download code or uh, something like that in the free plan free plan uh, as you can see here download apk is in paid plan right okay so uh, we will basically go over uh, some basic widgets uh, uh, in this crash course just to make it um short and uh, clear yeah so first thing first we always do um, the app bar thing so on the left we have widgets right and uh, we'll drag a widget here so we get default things here um, like uh, a back button we can disable it here we have all the settings related to particular widget here right so we can adjust the size, uh, height or background color right like that and uh, basically uh, we can also use um, um, like a, a text or if we need to use text or not it's up to us let's say um, I'll hit center title uncheck so let's place a title here so on the left we have the title um, we have the text so when you try to drag it will show where you want to be uh, place the text so i'll place it in the center and say crash course app okay so what we can do we can um, change the colors and uh, uh, basic styling if we need to center the title or not we can do that we can show or hide the default back button here we can adjust the elevation like 
the shadow yeah and uh, okay so here we have the app bar for our landing page and uh, now uh, as in flutter like you you must be aware of the columns and row that we use so i'll start with a row or a column and uh, you can also start with a stack or a container and however you place your architecture you can do that right so i'll just place column here right so um i will stretch it to make it full width and uh, then i'm gonna place basically a text in the column as a first element i'll give it a padding right here right so all the settings uh, like mostly all the settings are here you can adjust the font as font styling and everything uh, related to the text styling that we use the decoration in flutters we can do here i'll show you how it creates the code and uh, yeah okay and uh, if we see go here and uh, see the code which is uh, what is the current code of order of our app if we, whichever widget you click it will show the code of that so if i clicked on uh, app bar it will show me this is how it is done like background color is there then we have title and the styling is there with the title right so and uh, if you click on the column we have column and under that we have a text widget and the welcome text yeah so <clears throat> you can also run the project uh, real time to see how it works uh, by clicking on run this run function takes some time to uh, like two three minutes to build your project yeah so other cool feature that uh, we get in um, uh, flutter flow is like uh, we can download the code so basically the code that downloads has uh, flutter flow uh, dart files already in there to, su to support the styling uh, or the fonts everything uh, they have their own library uh, mm -hmm. that support the styling and other uh, basic things that are given in the code yeah okay so next important things is like you basically have all the widgets on the left here like if we need to add a um, let's say form field text field yeah here we can do that i mean designing ui is really good right so good in the sense that uh, you can easily um, generate the ui as however you want basically right you have all the options that you get in the the code here name yeah okay so like that we can we can also do the styling like filling the input and giving it some border we can do that like that yeah and if you want to give um, the complete border let's say outline we can do that here yeah and uh, let's place a button yeah let's say submit details okay so other thing that's come that comes with pro plan is like you have access to the apis apis in the sense like um, you can create custom apis here api calls okay so how does it work if you click api add api call 
let uh, let's say save details we have we need to have our backend api so it's going to be post request right my domain dot com and uh, let's say save details dot php yeah here we define our variable like name i need to send the variable it's going to be a string value and uh, default value is null add call yeah so we defined our api call here so we can like uh, set this up here whenever this is tapped um, if you see here the first one is the um, the styling tab and uh, the second is basically actions tab what you want to perform by clicking this button so let's say on tab i want to perform an api call right backend call api call and save details so this is the call name you get and parameters like <clears throat> it'll automatically comes up from that api call and let's say from where you want to grab the value from a variable from the widget state and from the name this one so this is our input and uh, uh, it will whenever this is pressed it will go uh, it will send the api call to that particular url mentioned with the value of this one yeah so this how easy it is like if you are building a basic rad app where you where you want to <clears throat> grab some data or post some data to um, the remote url you can easily do that in this and uh, basically building more pages and uh, um, navigating pages and sharing data between pages or screens is very easy in here i'll show you um, just go to here pages on the left and uh, create a new page so this page is going to be uh, when you create a page you get more options like it's we can pick anyone like i want it to be login page or sign up page and uh, <clears throat> let's say thank you page yeah so we can also add another function now we have another page created here so let's say after uh, saving the details uh, sending the details to api i want to another uh, perform another call navigate to page yeah so thank you page i can do that yeah and it also offers like if you want to allow the navigation back navigation from there uh, that we use will pop scope in uh, uh, flutter so we can also use it here and also the transition types um, we can define here yeah so this is a small two page app like uh, basic app it also offers um, more things easily like you have the option to set the assets that you want to use in your project you can upload assets here and directly use them in your project and then we have the options to define custom functions uh, they have given a beautiful tutorial here a video tutorial basically um, to define how to use the custom code yeah and uh, recently they have added to validate the your errors in uh, in your code yeah this is also very good and in here they have other um, app settings like we can uh, upload the assets like app launcher and basic transitions uh, global transition basically and uh, then you have other styling options and uh, this is activity indicator that shows up when you tap somewhere you can change it here and the typography and fonts overall for the app you can do that so these are the basic things that that flutter flow covers and uh, they are coming up with the uploading to app store or um, uh, 
sorry the address dot app store is already here so they are coming up soon for the google play store as well and uh, moreover from the uh, uh, that you can have integrations like they have multiple integration already being used like push notifications or like paypal payments brain tree or google maps ad mob for the ads and you can also change your project slug here on the top pretty much that in the pro plan you also get uh, to directly push to github and also uh, you can use the team feature where you can invite your team members for the project so what are the limitations here basically the, the personally i felt there are limitations if you want to go beyond the basic ui and uh, you do your logics and everything this is not for you so they have custom functions and everything but still you will feel limited here and you will feel dependent because when the project gets downloaded they have their own settings like it's not uh, a pure flutter code because they have their own library being used there and uh, yeah that may feel like uh, a dependency yeah. and uh, other than that you have a beautiful UI designer for flutter so this is it for this video and uh, if you um, have any queries about flutter flow you can let me know and if you want to subscribe to flutter flow uh, you can maybe use the link given in the description to uh, subscribe to your pro plan for flutter but i suggest to go with the trial first and see if if it's something for you and uh, there are a lot of things i didn't cover much because uh, this is a crash course like uh, i just wanted to cover the basics how flutter flow goes on uh, with the development and uh, yeah so that's it and uh, thanks for watching see you guys in the next video